Samoa Joe, what's up? Not too much, man. Hanging back. We got Maria in here, too. Maria, okay. Now, where are you calling from right now, Joe? I'm calling from uh, picturesque Columbus, Ohio. Beautiful. Oh, picturesque indeed. Well, I mean, you could, t- <laughs> but it's more picturesque than Fargo, North Dakota, where you're, where the- you're headed on Sunday. I guess it depends on the season, but yeah, you could say that. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Now, uh, okay, let's just get into this. Of course, you know, you're in the WWE now, and you've been all over the place, you know, WWE, uh, just every kind of indie organization, really. And how does it feel for you to, uh, you know, get in there and see some of the top guys in the company are actually a TNA guys where you'd come from? Uh, I, I don't think it's much of a surprise to me. I think, uh, you know, talent's undeniable, and it, it's only a matter of time before that talent's recognized and, and kind of given the stage and the platform that it should be on. So, Seeing those people really, really isn't much of a surprise to me at all. Now, when you got called up, did you know it was going to happen? Were you kind of waiting for it, or did it take you by surprise when that moment actually came? Um, I, I think I, you know, I think I had a general expectation of it, and uh, you kind of sensed that you know the time was coming. But uh, you know, I, I guess I wasn't officially told until pretty much the, the day before. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it didn't come as a surprise, but it wasn't something that I knew about beforehand. And now, what's the biggest difference between being an NXT star and now being on the main roster? Uh, I think, the, I mean, obviously the, the biggest difference is scale, first and foremost. Uh, you know, everything gets uh, dramatically upscaled from, from you know, NXT. Uh, although NXT does hold its, its, its own as far as putting on, you know, massive events and, and, and having a large fan base. Uh, you know, being part of the, I guess, the WWE Universe proper, is uh, it's definitely a much more large scale endeavor, and uh, you definitely notice uh, how, how much more you're on the radar. Here's just a random question for you, and it's something I strive for in my my everyday life. What does oh, it boy. feel like to have your own action figure for real? Like I want one, and is like when you saw your first action figure, is that when you know that you kind of made it? Uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Uh, when when you get your first action figure made and you see it, um, and, and it's not so much getting the action figure made. I think it's the first time that you walk through the store and you see it on shelves. Uh, it, it's everything can do not to have it uh you know plated in gold and made into a jesus piece you put around your neck uh you know it's a very cool thing i mean obviously uh you know to to be a an action figure that you know that you know kids are playing with uh, around the world and uh you know and, and, and if you're anything like me and, and when i was a kid I, I i still think i can remember a good majority of the action figures that i had so uh, uh you know it's kind of a you make this indelible indelible impression on a lot of kids and uh it's, it's a very, very cool thing. Do you think it'd be awkward, let's say you walked into a store and you saw, like, oh, man, look at all this uh, Samoa Joe merch right here. Would it would it feel awkward to you to, like, go pick up your own action figure or, like, a play set and purchase your own action figure have at the store? That? Yeah, have you done that? Yeah, that, yeah, that, I, can, I can tell you're new to this. Uh, yeah, you don't do that. That's pretty <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I, I think, you know, they, they'll send you plenty. If they're, they're going to make one of you, they're going to send you plenty in the mail to, to have at your home. But, uh I will say it is uh, a bit unusual during Christmas time, kind of walking through the aisles, doing your own shopping, and uh, you know, seeing people kind of pick up your action figure, and you know, hey, you kind of look like this guy, and they're like, yeah, 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 right, right. It's me. You know, pull, 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 pull your hat brim down and try to get out of there uh, relatively escape. <laughs> so once you have an action figure, where do you go from there to like Madame Tussauds Wax Museum? Is that what's next? I think, I think, I think, I think, I think that is the next logical step. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe a hometown statue. I think you know if you're oh, there, you wrong, go. You definitely another need good one. one. Of those. Yeah, bust in a museum. I think you know. There's, I don't know. There's. I'm kind of new to the game, so you know. There's, I know there's steps to this, so uh, we'll see what what great uh, monument I get erected next. <laughs> Oh. Well, and if nobody's going to build you one, Samoa Joe, you can honestly just get your own, you know, statue made up and just plop it down in your hometown. Pour just, some concrete out you know, yourself. It, yeah, it, it, it's funny. We 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 had we've had a lot of uh, statues made as a way that they display up in the office of Connecticut, and uh, you know, I, I, I inquire with uh, Triple H saying, "Hey, listen, uh, you know, where are you going to? Oh, we got a statue guy." So I mean. I need to get to the point where I have a statue guy, and I think I'll be, uh, you know, pretty pretty well off. Yeah, no kidding. Now, uh, you know, you just uh, popped into the onto the main roster here in WWE, but I'm sure you're going to be there for you know years and years to come. What's a, a possible dream match for you at a, a, a WrestleMania down the line? I mean, obviously, uh, you know, the champs Brock Lesnar. I'd love to mix it up with him. Uh, me and John Cena have a very very long history. Kind of started out together in Southern California, took a very different career paths, but now we find ourselves. Uh, once again, uh, within the same, uh, I guess, arm distance of each other. So, I mean, that's that's another one. Um, you know, Randy Orton, uh, Bray Wyatt. Uh, you know, I, I think it's easier for me to really state um, 
you know, who I wouldn't want to wrestle than who I would because there's so many uh, possibilities and options here. A lot of matches that I think people have wanted to see for years or maybe want to see now. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to uh, taking on and taking out whoever I can. Okay, so who don't you want to wrestle? I have to ask that now. So who don't I want to wrestle? Michael Cole. Yeah, I heard he's real devious, real. He's, uh, I heard he's undefeated in WrestleMania. He's got a real nasty streak. Uh, often hides a lot of weapons on him. It's, 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 uh, yeah, he's a very, very sneaky individual. Well, Samoa Joe, WWE Live hits the Fargo Dome this Sunday. Doors at four. Show starts at five. And Maria here, actually, fun fact, she's never been to a wrestling event before. That is ridiculous. I know. I'm she so excited. Never, been. never. Never been. So what can she expect now, out now, there? Now, excuse me. Now, excuse me. Just saying this. I mean, let's, let's, let's face it, Maria. It's not like there's a you know a lot of prevalent, awesome events that are going to come, come through like WWE. You have never been to one. That is ridiculous. Ugh. We're changing. We're changing all of that this Sunday. I'm super excited. Well, are you going to make a Samoa Joe sign? You going to hold it up? Yeah, you you'll better. know it's me. Yeah, you I will. I will. Because I'll look at that sign and go, "Yeah, that's that's her. There she is, right yep, there." Yep. Yep. <laughs> well, very cool, Joe. Uh, of course, WWE returns to Fargo this upcoming Sunday. Fargo Dome tickets still available, man. We will see you out there. And uh, like I said, Maria is going to be uh, holding up a Samoa Joe sign, and I'll bring my statue guy with, and we'll get this done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bring bring a statue guy. We'll get we'll get this all figured out. I'll bring my action figure guy. Maybe we can work out a trade. Oh, love it. All right, we'll work out that trade this Sunday, Joe. All right. All right, thanks for taking the time. Thank you.